So Chief Blanchard went to the men's warehouse and purchased a $1,200 personal fitted suit with our taxpayers' money. Did y'all know that? No. Now, of course not, because they're not going to let you know that, but I have the documents and I can show y'all. Gary Edwards, Penal Code 3609, offering a gift to a perfect servant is a Class A misdemeanor. You broke the law. Will you arrest Gary Edwards? You're in Chief Blanchard's suit, so i got to go with you. Jones, will you uphold the law or not? We're not I can say what I want to no, say, and you can shut your mouth. mouth. You can shut your mouth. You can, then you you we'll can shut your mouth and let no, me finish. What's up, everybody? This is a follow-up video to the last one I did where we have a police chief in Aransas Pass, Texas, that is stealing money from the taxpayer to treat himself to luxury suits. This is just what we know about. There probably is a lot more to this. Whenever Mr. Followell here addresses that with the mayor, the mayor then begins to start yelling, uh, interrupts the meeting, uh, tells the man he's not allowed to speak at all. Let's go ahead and put the chief's picture up full mass. So Mr. Blanchard here, the police chief, thinks he can go around spending $1,200 on personal suits. It's actually $1,247 he spent. And now that he's been caught, the mayor is now interrupting the meeting and trying to get the man exposing this out of the city council meeting by means of force, of course. He's using the police department to do his bidding for him. Now, I was unaware that Mr. Followell has a YouTube channel. Uh, in the last video I did, I'll put a link to his channel in the description for any updates on this. Uh, this has all happened within the last couple weeks. So go ahead and buckle your chin straps. Make sure your seat belt's on. Find something to hold on to because it's about to be a bumpy ride. Let's get into it. Jason Followell, I guess your nemesis here, huh? Because y'all hate me when I come up here. All right, I'm going to talk about Chief Blanchard and Gary Edwards. So Chief Blanchard went to the men's warehouse and purchased a $1,200 personal fitted suit with our taxpayers' money. Did y'all know that? No. Now, of course not, because they're not going to let you know that, but I have the documents and I can show y'all. So in case y'all didn't know this, Texas Administrative Code Rule 5.57 makes him accountable. He's supposed to incorrect these discrepancies and apply the law. The law says... <clears throat> Penal Code 3902, abuse of official capacity. Misuse of government property is a Class A misdemeanor. Your boss committed a Class A misdemeanor. Will you arrest him? You can answer the question, and I can show you the documents. Will you do it? I'm not answering the question. There you go. Gary Edwards gave Chief Blanchard a $1,200 suit and approved it on his Amex. What does that mean Gary Edwards did? Well, Gary Edwards, Penal Code 3609, offering a gift to a perfect servant is a Class A misdemeanor. You broke the law. Will you arrest Gary Edwards? You're in Chief Blanchard's suit, so i got to go with you. Jones, will you uphold the law or not? I don't know all the details. Of I'll give them to you after this if you want to. Can you sit down with me? Okay. You got it. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Jones. <clears throat> These two, I'm talking about Gary Edwards and Blanchard, cannot claim ignorance. I have their papers right here where they say, signed the policy manual, particularly over the financial statements, so they know they did wrong. Citizens, if you stole $1,200, would you go to jail? That man would arrest you right now. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. We citizens expect Gary Edwards to be fired immediately. Yeah. Vicki Abrega, if you do not vote to fire Gary Edwards for his crimes, you will be replaced this year by either Randy or by Mr. Davila. Joe, shame on you, Joe. So far, you haven't did anything for us public people. Not one damn thing. Here's your chance. Vote for him to be fired and you get my back. Ram, I never had a problem with you, Ram. I don't care about all your dirty laundry, laundry and baby mamas you have that are 16 years old. Doesn't bother me a bit. But when it comes to defending us, you should be doing it. We expect you to fire this man. And I'm not talking three days from now, 10 days from now, immediately. Gary Shrubs, <laughs> if you stand with Chief Blanchard and Gary on this, I have a petition I've already asked Mary for it. I re will call your ass. And you can bet these citizens out here are going to sign it this year. You'll be gone, and we'll replace you with Randy or Mr. Davila. We are tired of it. And if y'all can't do your job, we can always call the sheriff, Oscar. Or, uh, Oscar Rivera, San Patricio County, 361-364-9600. We can demand him to do his job, too. He's also elected, so if he don't do his job, we can get his ass out of here, too. <laughs> also, please keep that one on a leash. Every time he talks and bashes me on public Facebook or social media, everybody's IQ in the entire town goes down. He's a fucking moron. 
Moron. No, wait a minute. We're, 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 we're not I can say cousin. what I want to no, say, and you can shut your mouth. You can shut your mouth. You can shut your mouth. You can shut your mouth and let no, me finish my talking. You 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 three minutes I'm not going to follow you. You don't want. You either want to speak right now. You either can speak right now. You're going to get escorted out. Kiss my ass. Go ahead and escort me out. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. First of all, I'm not going to put up with you. Follow him out. No, go. Go. If you touch me, I touch you back. First of all, right, Violet. You can't do that. I'm not gonna put up with any of that. Ain't nobody need to be cussing anybody out. That's ridiculous behavior. No, 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 no. If you want to speak, you come up here. No, if you want to speak, come up here. If not, you can leave also too. Now, guys, this isn't over. So now I'm gonna bring you to a clip where they're outside now, and the police. Continue to double down on violating this man's rights and not letting him speak for exposing the police chief that has been stealing taxpayer money. Now the mayor and the police are using force to cover this up. This is absolutely outrageous that the mayor is going along with this madness and enabling these officers to steal money from the taxpayer. Let me know what y'all's thoughts are in the comments section. Here's the rest of the video. You don't you know, I'm out of there. You're asking me. You can leave. No, I was asking me there. I left. You can leave. This is public property. Public property. You're not kicking me out here. I'm going to stand right there and tell them where to go. Public property. It is cool. You're supposed to be some shit. You didn't talk, bro? I'm good. Nah, they just broke the law again. You can't kick me out for judgment. It's illegal. Get out of here, boy. You see all these pieces of shit. Y'all get a new boss. That motherfucker's fire and stealing money like that. Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, buddy. One hundred percent freedom of speech. I'm sure. sorry, sir. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Thank you for letting me hear it, y'all. Yes, sir. No, no, no. Thank you, bro. I'll talk to you in a minute. Give me a second. Huh? Give me five minutes. I'll come talk to you. All right, sir. Yeah, first of right, buddy. You don't know the law? I don't know the law. Okay, so what's my right? Fuck you, right? Did you say something? You just said. Do you not know the law? Are there certain rules in here? Do you have to go, buddy? Whenever you're looking at some cousins? Nothing about cussing, buddy. Nothing about cussing? No, 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 not, not a single one. Cussing is a disorderly yeah. conduct, too. Cussing is not disorderly conduct. That's not. Will people get offended by it? No, not. sir, not in there. It's pretty okay. good. 100%. Okay. I just told you fucking three times. You can do that. Oh, you got it. Start. Yeah, yeah. I hate it when they don't know the law. And without further ado, the facts and evidence to show that this is a thief and a piece of shit. Yet again, working in law enforcement. Let's roll the proof. Gary Shrugs is on Facebook, texting people, calling people, telling people that I am harassing the city. I am harassing Chief Blanchard, and all I do is lie. And that Chief Blanchard's suit was in the manual, and he was allowed to purchase it according to their charter. Well... That's complete BS. They keep lying to you, and she don't show you any evidence, so I gladly will. <clears throat> Here we go. Chief Blanchard's expense. 91023. Men's warehouse. Personally fitted suit for $1,247, guys. What does that mean? Well, personally, you cannot buy anything personal, meaning that the law explicitly states you cannot buy personal items with government funds. Personally fitted suit hits that target. I don't know why the numbers here are penciled in, but they are. You can see this is Eric Blanchard on 10-6, all right? And this is Sandra Garcia, approving it on 10-13. And Sandra is not his boss. This should be Gary Edwards on there, so they're not following their policy to begin with. Eric does not work for the financial department. <clears throat> anyway, she approved this illegal document. Good for you, Sandra. This is the receipt. $1,247. Not going to beat you up on it. Everybody in town knows that Chief Blanchard bought a suit with our money. Now, this is the City of Iran's Pass authorization form for Chief Blanchard to pay back the suit only because I brought it up. And as you can see, the date is 10-20 when he first started paying this, and he signed for this on 
So they did not start this until 10-11, guys, and I had already talked about this and already brought it up way before then, and Carrie's trying to act like I did not, because what? She's a liar. Now, here's the second payroll deduction for 447, and I'll tell you why they can't legally make him pay this back and that they're breaking the law again, but I'll show you that in a minute. What I want to specify here is this, I'm sorry, this is the acknowledgement form. So Carrie's out there saying that Gary Edwards had no clue about this policy, didn't know anything about it. Well, he signed this 928.17, he knew. Here's Chief Blanchard's from the city. He signed it too back in 2019, they know. Now, <clears throat> all right, this is a text message between Carrie Shrugs and a citizen in town. I'm not gonna disclose her name. She was asking questions as she is allotted to. She's asking basically, why isn't uh, Chief Blanchard being charged for theft or still in a suit? Carrie's response is, thank you for asking. The old policy manual that is being reviewed now, per Gary Edwards' request, has a uniform allowance. The specifics are vague as written, so they're going to redo it, right? I've stated this before on Facebook posts. When the financial director received the CC statement, she took it to the Gary Edwards city manager. He was unaware of the policy uniform. BES, as I've already showed you, he's aware of all policies. He's full of crap. It's unusual for this expense according to history. Unusual, yeah, because it's theft. Even the old mayor, Tommy Knight, got on there and said he's never heard of that in the entire time he was the, he was the mayor of Aransas Pass. Texas law will tell you anything by, that you buy personally is illegal and against the law. Same with Chief, he then became aware of the current policy, BS guys, which as I stated before is being revised. Why are they reviving this policy? Well, I'll show you, but <clears throat> Edwards told Chief that because of the current harassment from me, Mr. Followell, he thought it best to pay this back. Well, if it's not against the law and it's within policy, they can't force him to pay it back anyway. So that should throw up a red flag for everybody in this town. Chief pointed out again, it was not against policy, but agreed to, but agreed to not have the controversy and he would reimburse, reimburse the suit 100%. All of this was done 30 days before Followell accusations well guys i showed you earlier i started doing that before that right they didn't start anything like on this until uh 10 11 2023 uh this was done before follow of inaccuracy began the crusade against the purchase it's not a crusade buddy it's theft and this is a class a misdemeanor chief blanchard needs to go to prison okay guys so as you can see here i started asking questions back in october 13th right <clears throat> Wanted to know about the trip, wanted to know what was going on, started posting stuff on Facebook in November because it takes a long time to get data back from these guys. But I want you to pay attention back over here. Check this out. This expense wasn't even approved until 1013. So it wasn't approved at all until 1013. And as you can see down there, what I showed you earlier, he started paying it back on 1011. It wasn't even approved yet. Go figure, right? Okay, chase and tell, chase and tell. All right, here's a uniform policy that everybody keeps talking about. Well, Carrie keeps lying about, rather. Check this out. Let's do this. We'll put in reimburse. Let's hit enter. Oh, nothing in there about reimbursement. Not a single word about reimbursing uniforms at all. Crazy, right? It does talk about Chief Blanchard's uniform, and the highest uniform you can have is a Class A. Class A is a dress hat, which he didn't have. He had long sleeve, he had tie back, he had a skirt, right? Or trousers, I'm sorry. Black belt, <clears throat> dark blue, he had, he had. Now, black polished dress shoes, negative. He had brown shoes. Uh, boots with pointed toes are not permitted. Well, his were pointed and he didn't have white gloves. This has not, not hit the criteria of a uniform. A business personally. I just wanted to stop the video for a second to say this. It amazes me how far they will go to break the law right on camera, right in front of your face. And they call themselves law enforcement. Like, how are you taking people to jail for theft, but you're doing the same exact thing? These people are supposed to be setting an example. And they sit here and steal and lie and use force to remove people that are calling this garbage out. Here's the rest of it. The fitted suit is nowhere in the APD manual. They're lying to you. City of Aransas Pass policy manual. Let's click reimburse. Here we go. What does it talk about? Reimbursement for tuition. Now, there's another one. Reimbursement for tuition. And then that's the end of your document. 
Now, the police policy manual 1024-2 I want to talk about, so I want to show it to you. What's it say here? The Aransas Pass Police Department will provide uniforms for all employees. There again is nothing in here about reimbursement. Ready? The requester will, require, will be required to reimburse the department of members' compensation business and the costs associated with the outside services. Uh oh, I'm fucked up. All right, so we click reimbursement on the policy manual, right? We get this, any private entity or organization, individual seeking special services as a reimbursement. Oh, that's it. Nothing about uniform reimbursements in the Aransas Pass Police Department manual. They're lying. Now, this is the Aransas Pass purchasing guidelines. Let's hit reimbursement. Not a single thing in there, nothing. You know what it does say though? Personal purchases. City employees are strictly for, prohibited from using their position or their name to purchase items or services for personal use. A personally said it food suit is illegal. The Texas Administrative Code 557. Refunds. A state agency may not accept cash refunds for a purchase if the agency paid for the purchase with a payment card. Chief Blanchard illegally used our Amex card to make a purchase. Gary and Gary and the financial director cannot make him pay that back with cash money. With that said, they do have to follow the law. What is the law? Penal Code 3902, Abuse of Official Capacity. A public servant commits an offense if, with intent to obtain benefit, he wanted a personally fitted suit. Crazy, right? Anyway, Chief Blanchard obtained a new $1,247 personally is the key word fitted suit with the taxpayers money this is a class a misdemeanor they are trying to cover it up he needs to go to jail thank you have a good night let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section and if you made it this far go ahead and hit subscribe it's free and i'll catch you guys in the next one later